What is going on, Nitro Ninjas? It's your Grandmaster Nick Nitro, and welcome to my first DNF guide tip tutorial video, whatever you want to call it. I don't make tutorial videos very often. I don't make guide videos very often because there's so many out there on YouTube, so many out there on Twitter talking about like, you know, basic stuff that you don't really need me to do it. However, I have been recently searching for like Kunoichi deity legend rank guides and there's not very many, if not any. And uh, just last week, I did get to a uh, DD legend ranking and I took a break, you know, for the meantime after, you know, accomplishing that. And uh, I figured, you know, I'll share my experience and my knowledge, you know, to help anybody else out there who wants to get to at least legend ranking with Kunoichi as their main. Now, a couple disclaimers before we start. No, I am not one of the best Kunoichi players out there. I'm not even one of the top Kunoichi players out there. I just happened to get to legend ranking maining Kunoichi. That's it, guys. And so a lot of the stuff that I do it may not be the most optimal it may not be the best option it's definitely not the only option a lot of the stuff that i did is just like a lot of basic stuff that you know built on my fundamentals which allowed me to do you know more advanced stuff you know depending on the matchup and you can definitely build upon it yourself as well you don't have to you know stick to one route uh on any of the tips i do that's the great thing about what i'm about to show you is that a lot of the stuff i'm about to show can be added upon and you can you know stylize it and personalize it yourself to play kunoichi the way you want to and to be as effective as you want to be and next disclaimer no this is not a combo video no this is not uh like the basic tutorial video no these are just like tips and guides on what you can do this is assuming that you're already pretty familiar with kunoichi this is like rather intermediate level stuff so it's like you already can do the basics this is just some stuff to add upon and what you can use to you know improve or increase the level of your gameplay you know to be able to reach legend ranking Now the first thing I want to talk about is burning stigma setups, yes. So we already know what the burning stigma is. Burning stigma is where after you do an MP move, there is a stigma on the opponent and it explodes after a certain amount of time. And if you're able to put two MP moves together or two burning stigmas in one combo, it makes the stigma burn instantly. But that goes without saying, this is assuming you already know that you know um, description about uh, the burning stigma what we're talking about here is burning stigma oki setups it's where you want to uh end your combo on a burning stigma so that you can teleport right on top of them and do a safe jump and there you have it as you saw um i was able to do a safe jump jump b and i was able to block the dp in time and if you're able to block the dp it actually um gives enough time for the stigma to explode so that you can even follow up with an additional combo for additional damage now what you've also noticed there is that the timing for the teleport to the save jump is actually very tight so if you do it too early or too late it's gonna um, either put you too high and you're just gonna end up getting DP'd or mashed out of your safe jump and well That's kind of defeats the purpose of what that burning Sigma Oki setup is It's for, so that you can do a safe jump You can contain your pressure and so that you know you pretty much take your turn back because like characters like hitman uh, Striker dragon knight can easily do safe jumps and they can continue the pressure and it's like you're at the mercy of them And you can do the same thing with Konoichi, but it does require precise timing so I'm gonna show basic combos that I typically use during my matches or my previous videos that set up into the Burning Sigma safe jump setup. But of course, you can always add upon it or change uh, some things, you know, to your liking. But what I'm about to show you is just some basic bread and butter that I use for my um, Burning Sigma setups.
And those are just uh, a few of the samples or the basic combos that I do in order to set up the Burning Sigma. Regardless of what you do, have it end in a Burning Sigma setup. As you saw, all of it, all of the combos that I did were able to set up Burning Sigma, a safe jump, and I was able to continue my offense if the opponent decided, you know, to do something wrong because they either decide to try to DP out of it or they decide to, you know, keep on blocking so therefore I can keep my pressure going. It just makes it so that they're forced into a situation where uh, Konoichi is able to continue her pressure because of that Burning Stigma. Alright, the next thing we're going to talk about is something that I noticed that a lot of good Konoichi players actually use. The abuse of her double jump and her air MP kunais. Yes, so uh, Konoichi's double jump, which is, you know, the only character in this game that can do a double jump, which makes her already more mobile than everybody else. Even, like, I would say even Dragonite a little tiny bit because um, with Konoichi, she can jump back and forth, jump straight up, jump forward, forward, or jump back, back, or jump forward, back, and all that. Dragonite, the moment she takes flight, she can only be linear and then it, it stops after that. But regardless, um, Kunoichi's double jump, very powerful, and also using a conjunction with her air MP kunais. The thing that makes her air MP kunai so powerful is that after she uses it, she is still able to perform an action in the air. So a typical action she can do is, you know, typical um, jump B. So after doing such, jump B can go to a combo and has enough time to burn the burning sigma that was placed on your opponent from the air kunais. It's a very good move to use like to mix up your opponent after you know a block string especially if you teleport you know after your block string you decide to you know catch and bait your opponent's dp. Speaking of double jumps and air kunais, Kunoichi 6C and jump C, you can use and abuse these to no end. This is Kunoichi's zoning. You should abuse it. You should not feel bad about it. And you should continue to abuse it no matter what throughout the entire fight because it forces your opponent to try to do something else other than just stay there and take the abuse right there. Though, so if your opponent is just letting you throw it, keep on throwing it. Do not be ashamed of it. If they lose for it, oh well, shame on them, not shame on you. Another useful tool with uh, Kunoichi's uh, regular kunais is from full screen using the 6C or the ground kunais and then uh, using conversion right afterwards to be able to close your approach right after the kunai so your opponent is forced to block whatever upcoming pressure that you have. So this last advice that I want to give to you, it, this kind of goes without saying, but you'd be surprised how much others uh, fall victim to this. Even myself, I fall victim to this, but Kunoichi's biggest weakness that makes her a little bit hard to use in other characters is that if she becomes too predictable, it's very easy to answer all of her moves, all of her attacks, all of her game plan if you become very predictable. That's pretty much with any ninja character in any fighting game. The moment you become predictable, you're already a bad ninja already. And so with Konoichi's gameplay, you need to be as unpredictable as possible. And that's very possible because Konoichi has so many routes that she can do. She can cancel so many different options that you can really change your route up literally every single engage so that you can really be as unpredictable as possible and open up your opponent and force them to make a mistake therefore opening them up and then being able to capitalize on your opponent uh, making a mistake or guessing incorrectly. This includes teleporting during different parts of your block string, not ending your block string the same way, not using the same sequence of your strings the same way, having a good strike throw game, not always ending at the same ender, and during uh, block strings, you may not want to use the same MP move every time, but just in case you mess up or you don't know what to do, you can always end on the fireball. You do lose your turn, but it's the safest option to go for at the end of every block string. So to wrap this all up, Kunoichi is already a strong character in and of itself. 
and she has a lot of good tools she has a lot of approaches a lot of offensive options it's just optimizing each of those options abusing them and creating situations where your opponent cannot really answer back is the key to being able to secure wins with Konoichi and maybe eventually get you to legend ranking and who knows maybe even to the top 300 DD rankings which I'm trying to work on too but anyways if you enjoyed this video if you learned something I hope you all did let me know in the comment section below if you want to add anything to it I'm more than willing to listen because I'm also trying to go at Konoichi as well and more information sharing amongst us Konoichi mains is you know what will make all of us better in the long run and it's you know it's helpful you know as we are a ninja clan and so we're gonna try to help each other out anyways I hope you all enjoyed and I hope you all learned something from this video and and until then, thank you to all the members of the Nitro Ninjas, Digital Grandmaster Nick Nitro. Stay awesome, my ninjas.